What's up, my doggy? What's up? Not much, brother. How you doing? I'm um, doing okay. How are you? I'm doing good. Last yeah. time you were here, you talked about the VR stuff, man. Yeah. So how's it going with the VR stuff? It's going good. Just yeah? uh, um, I lost my like pieces of the joystick, so it's hard to move now. Oh man. Yeah, it still works. Still works. It's all good, bro. What are you playing now? I'm playing Blade and Sorcery right now. Blade and Sorcery. What's that about? Um, uh, just swords stuff like that. Like this, magic stuff or what? No, it's gladiator. Gladiator. Yeah, that's dope. That's dope. So, what do you think about uh, what you think about yesterday when we played Roblox? Mm, it was funny. It was fun, huh? Yeah, yeah it we was should, funny. We should do an episode where we are like, we should do it today, yeah. and we can like play Roblox and then videotape each other or whatever, and then we'll post it up as a podcast or as a YouTube thing. Mm-hmm. That'd be cool. Yeah, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. So that's yeah. I never played that before. Yeah, it's I, a, it's I thought they were just Legos. No. I thought they were Lego dudes running around <laughs> doing stuff. So, I don't know. So, like, what other games do you like to play? What, what other stuff do you like to play? Um, I play, let's see, Warzone. Warzone. I play Cold War Zombies because mm-hmm. I do that for a mastery skin called Plague Diamond. It's hard, hard to get because it's just zombies is longer. Mm-hmm. You had to get at least 10,000 by the time you're done with your first gun. So, and what game is that? Cold War. Oh, Cold War, like Call of Duty, right? Mm-hmm. Is that what it is? So it's like, is that part of the Warzone thing or is it a different game? It's it's um, the one under Vanguard. Oh, okay, I got you. I don't think I have that one. Yeah, for sure, you bought it for me. I'm a clown. No. Okay. Oh, I that's right. I did buy it for you. That's right. You like owe ten me bucks. Ten podcasts. You know? yeah. It was ten bucks. No, it wasn't. It was a hundred and fifty. Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> Got him. No, I know it. It was ten dollars. I c- I couldn't even get it when I tried buying it. It was like a hundred. A hundred something. Uh, it was, was like, on sale. Damn, you got me. You got me. It was only one per person. Was oh, it? Oh, you got me. <laughs> I, I didn't know I was it was like, just on sale. I was gonna go. I was gonna go get it, and I was like, "Hell yeah!" And then, boom, hundred bucks. Hundred. Yeah. Like I'm not paying hundred bucks. What were for this you looking shit. at? Because usually it's sixty to fifty. I don't know. Maybe like a bundle deal. Yeah. I was like, "Heck no! I'm not buying that shit." You should buy the regular one instead of the bundle. Were you scared last night? Not really. I mean, with that movie we that watched. That movie, the movie was scary. But... That movie was freaking. True story, though, it's supposedly. Disgusting. Do you believe in ghost stuff? A little like, bit. Like the devil and shit? A little bit. Not too you know? much, though. Why? I don't know. It's it's just something that's like hard to believe. Have you ever seen any ghosts or scary things? Uh, no, but there has been weird things. Like what? Explain. Explain to the show. i say a couple years ago, okay. we lived in this two-story house. We had this woody doll. And he was just, it was with our big brother, you know. He was with us. We were, like, in the house. We were running around playing scary music. And there was this woody doll on our, like, you know, by the stairs. There's, like, this wood, like, not wood, a wall that covers it so you don't fall down. Mm -hmm. Um, He was on there. And when we were walking past, he, like, flew off and went down the stairs. So we kind of, like, all just (laughs) ran back to our room. The woody doll? Yeah. Like from Toy Story? Mm Mm-hmm. That's weird. It just like jumped, like not jumped, like it fell off, like flew off just the wall. Did that ever happen again? No. I mean, we kind of threw him away. Really? Yeah. You threw him away? You of threw away? Of course I did. You could have had something special. Kept him. Kept a demon with me? Keep, kept a demon, yeah. No. You could have sold him on eBay. Heck no. Damn, that's all you've seen? Um, you haven't seen anything scary like UFOs or anything like that ever? Mm-mm. No. That's just one of the things that I've noticed myself. Just that thing. Just that? That's it? Yeah. Damn. Are you scared of stuff like that? How about it was like there was this monster to appear at night? What would you do? What every other human would do? What? Yell and scream and run or what? Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm not gonna go fight it. Just <laughs> shoot him up like yeah. Call of Duty. Papa Stim, Papa Stim, selfie vibe. <laughs> Care package. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get my loadout real quick? <laughs> <laughs> that's funny yeah you had to that's be funny like, that's you can't you can't just walk around knowing that it's a monster and not have your look how about if like you found out that there was aliens and they were coming to the world coming to earth what would you do tell you you think it would be cool like to see them or you think it'd be like oh damn scary depends yeah it depends on what they're doing you think they look like us or you think they look green with weird eyes I don't know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What would you think? Like, if you what? What do you picture an alien to be like? Well, UFOs kind of seem like something out of our technology and science because mm-hmm. it's like a floating metal thing mm-hmm. that can suck things up, right? Mm-hmm. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt if it could take human form or not. So I think that it probably would. Like, what do you call that? Like when you like switch skins like like x-men like what's that what's that lady the blue lady um um um, um. she like switches skins. yeah, yeah. She, oh man i can't remember her name she's like super popular on um on x-men uh i forgot her name yeah anyways you think there's like uh you think they're like that that they can just take whatever form i, I figured it's technology right i figured I mean, who knows? I don't think they look like aliens. Yeah. Or, or you know what? Maybe they have some kind of deformities because if you really think about it, like in other worlds, right? There's like here we have oxygen and all kinds of stuff, right? And mm-hmm. and we can grow plants and all this, but we adapt, right? So we look like this. In other places, there isn't any, there's not like, just not like just gas here. And- yeah. So maybe like they adapt it and they just look a little different so they can survive in that environment. Mm-hmm. But I don't think they will look like creatures. They'll probably look like us. Just a little different. Just a little different. But I think if that was the case, I think if that was the case, I think we would have seen them a long time ago. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because there's, everybody talks about UFO, uh, UFOs and that are everywhere and stuff, but you never see them. Like nobody after so many Years and years and years, nobody actually has actual proof of that aliens actually exist. Yeah. Just, Isn't that, do you think that's a little weird? Yeah, a little bit. And I heard that they're opening up this file, this case again about mm-hmm. UFOs. I forgot the name of it. But my friend, he's a little geek. He likes he likes UFOs, aliens type stuff. Yeah. And he like told me, he was like, yeah, they're opening up this case thing again. Like, they closed it because they thought everything was just fake. Yeah. And since there was supposedly a whole bunch more UFO sightings, they're opening it back up. So. That's, you think they're just fucking, like, messing with us? I mean, like, I don't know. The government wouldn't tell anything. Just to scare us. But I, maybe I, some some of it makes me feel like somebody just decided to do that to scare people. And then it just it just kept going on and on and on. And then, you know, there's people messing around with other people. And uh, they are, they're just trying to find ways to scare other people. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I don't know. That's kind of, that's kind of what I feel like it's I'm looking up it's what happening. the name is. Oh, which one? The UFO. Oh, the case file thing? Mm-hmm. Or UFO. It's, I don't know. I don't think I would be scared. I would be surprised. Project Blue Book. Project Blue Book. Uh, I heard about that on... Uh, one of the Joe Rogan shows, I think. Yeah, or they're episodes. opening it back up. So. I don't know, man. I, I feel like with all the technology that we have, I can't believe like nobody has concrete evidence that right. these things are here. Hopefully, hopefully if the aliens or UFOs do exist, um, hopefully someone can get something and not just bull crap about it. Cause hopefully they're good. Yeah. Like they're, they're not evil and then they... Just come and just kill us all. Yeah, hopefully they're good and they can help us with technology and help us... But maybe it's like the Marvel movies. Maybe those aliens want to take over worlds. Who knows? But we've been around for so long. How come they haven't taken it over? I don't know. Well, time and space is different from here. Okay. So, what? Isn't it like 10 years different up there than down here? So, I don't know. 
Hmm. That's interesting. You know what I mean? Global warming, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Open it up like a barrier above our Earth, like a little thingy that covers mm-hmm. us from the sun. And who knows? Maybe they're going to take advantage while that's happening. Okay. So there's a lot of people that are weird, and they, everybody yeah. thinks differently about stuff. You're obviously from a different generation. What generation are you? No, I don't know. Oh, you're, see here, 2008 you were born? Yeah. You're... Gen X? No, Gen Z? I, I don't know. You would have to look that up, but I don't know where you are. Uh, look it up real quick. Look it up. Okay. You're gonna be like our you're gonna be like our technical guy here. That way I don't look funny typing in stuff. Yeah, Gen Z. Gen Z. So you're Gen Z. What do you think of the world? You think the world is round or you think the world is flat? Round. It's round? Okay. What do you think of those people that think it's flat? Stupid. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's weird, huh? How people think that way. They think it's flat. It's they're stupid though. That's not how it works. You can't, you can't just. I don't know how it would be flat. Yeah. I feel like it would have died a long time ago if it was flat, because it'd be stretched out. Yeah. And our, you know, our Earth isn't that far away from the sun, so. Mm Mhm. I mean. You think if it was because it's round. Because they look at it and like they're probably thinking like, oh shit, if it's really round, then why aren't we like falling down? Well, that's because of gravity. That's right. Gravity's pushing us down, holding us to like the floor. So, so you think that like when the world spins and if like South America's over here and whatever's over here and it's spinning like this, but we look like we're standing like this, do you think it's just gravity that's holding us like we're actually standing straight up, or you think that right now where we're at we're actually like laying down? But since since the world is turning. We're actually looking at each other, but if you were to really look at it, we would be like laying down talking to each other. <laughs> um, let's see. So gravity, gravity's what hold us down, right? Mm-hmm. So what I'm thinking is, is when the Earth rotates, gravity just pulls us down. Makes you, so, because if it was turning, we would all just like, you know, just fly. Well, it is turning. Yeah. Well, I mean, like without gravity. Oh, right? okay, okay. Then we would probably like float up and then just fall, like when it was turning. I just fall to another continent. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I'm saying gravity, gravity is holding us down. So when yeah. it rotates, we don't feel it because there's just so much pressure. Yeah. That it's just, it's holding us still so that we won't like float away. So you being from another ge- different generation, what do you think of the moon landing? The moon what? The moon landing. Do you think the moon landing was real? Do you think the moon landing was fake? I don't know. Like the when he landed on the moon? Yeah, like when Neil Armstrong walked into uh-huh. the moon and was walking in the moon and he was saying one step from, what is it? What is that big saying? It's one step, mm-hmm. one small step, one big leap for him. Something oh, like man, that. Man, I'm horrible right now <laughs> at remembering the. Well, I mean, NASA, I'm thinking, like, right, they've sent plenty of people to the moon. Yeah. So I'm thinking, I mean, because they have, like, rovers and stuff on yeah. there. I don't think they would lie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, it would be just too much. Because like, they let, it, they publicly, like, let people watch as yeah. it happens. So, I mean, I'm guessing that it's true. I think that if this stuff was fake, I think people would already, like, found out. Yeah, Somebody would have said fake. something, like, hey, this is bullshit. And then, like, they would have. Because there's people who get into the government files, stuff like that. Like, yeah. You know, hackers, stuff like that, and they announce it publicly. Yeah. I mean, that's how sometimes people find out about things that they're not supposed to. Right. So I'm guessing someone would have already found that out because it's, I mean, the moon. there would be leaks, you mm-hmm. know, they would have a leak about it. Yeah, I think that it's hard to keep a secret for that long. I think one of them, at least the guy that Neil Armstrong guy that died, at least he would have been like before he died. He's like, it's fake. You know, <laughs> and I, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know if he would say that because if it was fake and he was part of it, he would like destroy the reputation of his family, right? If he was oh, like, it's fake. And and his family would die or something. Yeah, like, so it's, it, they will be like under scrutiny. So that also plays in part of all the stuff that can be hidden. But somebody out there would have already found out. Yeah, definitely. Like, especially like Elon Musk. Yeah, that he's already flying people up there. Yeah. He's getting up there himself instead of NASA. So he's, yeah. I mean, I'm, I wouldn't doubt if he's already gone up there. With that much money, that guy would have found out already. Yeah, like, he's building rockets, yeah. like rush, rocket ships himself. Yeah. He's calling them something, but yeah, he's flying. He's trying to fly them up there. One successfully got up there, but then I think blew up. So Which he's getting, one? He's Which getting one closer. There was, I don't know if it blew up, but it definitely went up. 
I don't know that. Hmm. We'll have to look into that. I'm not sure. Yeah, he, there's, he's trying to make himself, trying to make rockets, trying to get people up there. Yeah. Because, I mean, Elon Musk, he's obviously going to try to make sure it's real. Yeah, like he's, he's, uh, he has a lot of money. He does have a lot of money. So he could do whatever, he could do whatever he wants. What would you do if you had Elon Musk money? What, what would I do? would do? Yeah. I would probably, you know, give, help us all, the family, yeah. the family first, obviously. Yeah. And then once we're all good, I'd probably start doing something to fix like oil, stuff like that, so that we're not like killing ourselves from global warming. Because yeah. instead of building rockets, he's also using fuel. He's also using stuff that will destroy the earth. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it'd be smarter if he would try to figure something out with mm-hmm. all that money. Because with all that money, he gets availability to factories, stuff like that. Try to switch it up because he knows a lot about electronics. Do you think that there's aliens among us? Or do you think that's fake? I don't know. I don't have... I don't really know. Because... There's no raw evidence, like you said. There's, so there's nothing really that we can believe or not. Yeah. So what is the most craziest thing that you believe in that people are probably going to be like, what? Like, what is this guy talking about? I think probably just ghosts, paranormal stuff is probably the biggest thing. Yeah. Because, I mean, I'm guessing that real stuff like that is actual real. But at the same time, there's a lot of stuff that's just edited. Yeah. And just fake People being stupid. Did you, when we were watching that movie yesterday, did you believe that there's such a thing like a demon, people possessed and people doing exorcists and shit or what? I don't, I don't know. That's what's crazy. Who would who would even know about that stuff? Like if there was no one there to witness it. Well, I mean, there's like those people. Like They, they videotaped it. I remember that yeah, was but videotaped. They all died. That's true. So, I mean, all that's gone now. That's true. I don't know if that movie was like there was actual footage footage of it, or it was I didn't remade. Think any of it was footage. You don't think so? Mm-mm. Like the people, like well, they have cameras, right? Like those places where like supposedly they filmed it, they have cameras. That, but I'm sure they wouldn't leak that out. Yeah, they I mean, I don't know, and, and it just depends on how much money they're offering you. Mm-hmm. Or I mean, I don't know. Elon Musk get up in there. Damn, you know, I must know everything. He would. And that other guy from Amazon, that Bezos guy. He's doing so much, like, but you know, he's he's doing rockets, stuff like that, but he could be doing so much more, like the smaller things. Yeah. Figure things out. That's true. That's true. He's I spending, know, like, man. millions and stuff for rockets that mm-hmm. he could just spend thousands trying to figure out stupid things to try to break them. So... What do you think of these days now? What do you think of like cancel culture? What do you think of like political correct stuff? Correct stuff? Like there's a lot of people that are like trying to cancel stuff or like they're... I think it's stupid because yeah? like no offense to anyone, but like I don't get why they would say something so small on it. Like a just a random person who doesn't know anything about what's going on like with the canceling stuff and they accidentally say something and they just get canceled for no reason. I I think it's stupid that they just do that for over a little small thing. You think that people should have like thicker skin and just be yeah. okay with people telling them stuff? Yeah, because I mean we went through tons of racism, like slaves, and you don't see anyone canceling people over that. Yeah. But over someone's like sexuality, yeah. you get canceled instantly for nothing. That's true. And I'm not saying sexual sexuality is like you know a problem. Just the problem is when you cancel someone, it's just gonna make people think you're like a bad person. They're just gonna look down on you more. Yeah. So it's just like, don't don't do that as much. So what do you think of those furry people or whatever that they they have to have like dog bowls or whatever and they have um, to poop on kitty litter and all that stuff? What do you think about that? You think you would freak out if you were in school and you saw that? Hmm. No, I mean, I see them a lot. I used to see them a lot. In your school? Yeah. Like taking poops? No, I haven't seen those. But, like, oh. I've seen them, like, wearing tails and stuff. And there was one where he, like, it was a guy, and he didn't have a clip on. So, I mean, if you're guessing where the tail would go to stick in. Oh. Yeah. He had it in his butt? Yeah, he had, it's like a, uh, <laughs> it's a plug. <laughs> and, like, he puts it in there, and then it, the tail comes out. He had it through his pants, or he had a hole through his pants? A hole through his pants. 
That's just weird. Why would they let that in school? Because they would get canceled or something. Or they they would get get, sued or whatever. Yeah. That is crazy. I can't believe that people are doing things like that. And all it takes is one post from the internet from someone saying they don't like my sexuality or they won't let me wear my cat ears. And it's over. Damn. That's weird. That's weird. People when they do that. That's really strange. Have you seen that thing about that teacher that wore the big boobs? No. The fake boobs in some school, high school or junior high, whatever it is. And then uh, the, the, they, there was this big old thing about it, but the they, they didn't do anything about him. So he wears like a fake bodysuit or fake boobs or I don't know what. I mean, they're not even Damn. real. They're like, it's like a suit with big boobs. And he's a teacher. He's a guy. And he's like, dresses like a woman with big boobs. Yeah. You think I've that's weird? I've seen those before, like fake boobs. They like, you can order them with like your matching skin tone. And they, like, make them for you. Do you think that if you were in school, you thought you would think that would be weird? A little bit, yeah. yeah. That is weird, man. If I was in school and I saw that. I like, seeing a kid like that. In mm-hmm. my time, like, I would have been like, what the heck is happening here? <laughs> there would have been, like, a lot of people quitting and taking their kids out of their school. I'm, surpri- I'm, I'm surprised nobody's quit at Bush because there's so much people going there, like, trying to cancel everyone. Yeah. It's just stupid. That is weird. That's weird stuff, man. Yeah, I don't get why people want to dress as animals. I don't. I don't see why they would do that. Yeah. But I mean, whatever floats their boat, right? Yeah, that's that's weird, man. I mean, things are changing. Hopefully, well, it seems like you're pretty normal to me. I'm not saying they're not normal, but I'm saying yeah. you don't think that the world is flat and you're like you're okay with like you know people having constructive criticism or just talking smack and uh you can just you just have to deal with it you know like i'm gonna cancel you for calling me you know telling me that i have long hair or whatever you know what i mean like that's good because it shows that not everybody that's your age not everybody thinks the same way it's it's you know there's a lot of people that think that way that are like canceling stuff or they get offended really fast but you can tell like yourself you know, you're going to be what, 14 years old, mm-hmm. and you are, you are, you know, you, you're not like that, which is that just proves the point that not everybody is like that. Not everybody is just going to get mad and, and start canceling stuff and start saying things and, you know, stuff like that. So that's good. That's good stuff that, mm-hmm. you know, that you have a, that you're thinking of stuff. But do you ever wonder, like, uh, do you ever wonder if the world's going to be better or you think it's going to just stay the same or get worse and we're just going to have to adapt to it? We definitely have opportunities. We have tons of rich people, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, rich people. They, If they were to be smarter than how they're doing stuff right now, they could definitely do something about the world. And Because, I mean, a bunch of money equals a bunch of material, a bunch of things that can change. They could, who knows, maybe dig something up, make sure, like, make it our new energy. And because there's so much we don't even know about the ocean. There, as in, and if there we barely know anything about water, mm-hmm. then how are we supposed to know anything about like caves and stuff? Because that's oh, yeah. harder to get through. Yeah. Because in the earth, all people do is dig down or dig straight forward. They never dig around them. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot we could be missing. And a lot that, and a lot of opportunities that we've had, just people are being kind of stupid right now. So. Yeah. Hopefully, people change, right? Mm. Hopefully, people start acting different, and hopefully, they understand that, you know, like we we're, we're not all perfect, but you know, you can definitely ruin somebody's life by by uh, you know, I don't know, like not being fair. You know, I mean, it's just like, like you said, like whatever, whatever floats your boat, it's, I mean, there's nothing really you can do. I mean, that's, what do you think those kids grew up to be like? You think they were like, why do you think that they, that they associate with themselves with, with animals? Like, do you think it's just they're because. They're too free. They're, like there's, we get freedom, right? Mm-hmm. We have enough freedom to do what we want. We're not slaves anymore. We're just regular people now. Everyone's the same. But they're taking freedom to a whole other level, thinking that they can just do whatever they want. So and, do you think because it's just they could do whatever they want, they're just, I'm going to be a pet yeah, and they, I'm going to pee in the corner? Because no one's stopping them anymore. Like, we have freedom 
but they're taking advantage of it and just becoming whatever the heck they want to. Mm. They don't care. They, no one can stop them anymore because because of the amount of people mm. that are like turning animals and stuff and then stuff like that. Like there's conventions and stuff like that for furries and there's there's a lot and there's nothing really. If one person does something, mm. that entire community is gonna come after them and it's gonna ruin that person's life. So. Mm. That's kind of why people stay out of their stuff. Yeah, because there's a lot more than just them. So, that's that's crazy, man. That's crazy. What do you think? Uh, to finish off the show, what do you think of all the movements that are happening, like all the, you know, like the 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 movements like for racism, like the cops. What do you think, like of all that, like the cop brutality stuff, Police like brutality is out of hand. It's gotten down more. Like, you don't see it as much, but it still happens. And back then when it was happening a lot, my goodness, that was that was rough. Yeah. I mean, they could have avoided all that protesting if they were to just do their jobs. You think it's scary if you get pulled over or well, a cop approaches you? Cop approaches me, I'm just going to keep my cool. You, just yeah. can't, you can't do anything stupid. Yeah. Like, But if they do just start trying to arrest you out of nothing... Then definitely you're gonna try to like tense up a bit because that's stupid. They're taking their job to their advantage. They want to be the law. They want to do what they want because they like they think no one can stop them. They're, right. They are the law. They yeah. Can do whatever they want to. Yeah. That's why they most cops have gotten away with killing people. Yeah. And you say, oh, he drew a gun on me, or oh, he tried to stab me, something like that. He touched me. They they can just make up stupid reasons to shoot them, and they've been planting stuff in their cars, thinking like, "Oh, look at this." Yeah, that's a problem, huh? Mm-hmm. That's a big problem. Well, thanks, Matt. Thanks for being in the show, and uh, you know, hopefully, a lot of people listen to this show. That you know, somebody your age, fourteen years old, they don't, uh, you know, they they care about stuff. They care about their future. They um, they're interested and in, they want to do good things. And uh, you are, you're young and you have, you know, you can, you're, if people were to tell you stuff like you definitely wouldn't get crazy and start trying to cancel them or get upset about it or anything like that. So that's, that's a good thing. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I appreciate you for coming to the show, man. And uh, hopefully yep. I can have you more often. That way we can do some more shows, man, about mm-hmm. some crazy other stuff. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right, man. Appreciate you. Mm-hmm. Thanks, man. Yeah.